How's it going everybody? Zab here and welcome to another NHL 15 Team of the Week update and review. Uh, now, the last, what, two weeks I think it was? I didn't do one because I was on hiatus or winter or holiday break, whatever you want to call it. Regardless, I was just on break so I wasn't posting videos for two weeks straight. Um, it was a nice little break, obviously. If you have seen the videos I posted earlier in the week, then you're going to hear a lot more about that. You can go ahead and check out the podcast. I think it was episode three that we posted on Monday. We really got in depth with what I did over the holiday break for the channel and whatnot and kind of just talked about the future of the channel. So feel free to watch that. Um, but nonetheless, this is the first Team of the Week review of the new year and uh, it looks like a sick one right off the bat now I do know this is a day late this is going up on Thursday team of the week comes out on Wednesday I was just extremely busy I didn't have the time uh, on Wednesday when the packs came out or when the excuse me the team of the week came out at uh, 4 p.m. my time so sorry about that just a day late but uh, hopefully you guys do forgive me there's also a flurry of special cards out including this uh, this what is it player of the game legend uh, card Mario Lemieux I'm not a big fan of the fact that they're releasing all these cards I mean there's already what like a legend Lemieux a milestone Lemieux like a this Lemieux with that Lemieux I get it but uh it's just flooding the market a little bit more Eliash uh we're gonna see if anything else pops up I know two days ago I think it was they released like 30 new cards including the um what do you call it player of the game um world junior cards and there's Varlam of Bacchus I mean 15 different milestone cards and winter classic cards there's the uh tournament cards so all these cards like I said I'm not a big fan of the lower end ones that don't go for anything um because it's basically making the chances that much worse as far as pulling a good player but whatever, we'll talk about that later. Right now, Team of the Week, Duncan Keith, Sidney Crosby, and Daniel Sedin as the top three players are on the cover, I should say. And getting into the team, I have already seen it, actually, so it's not going to be too much of a surprise to me. And it's probably not going to be too much of a surprise to you. But we'll start on the fourth line with LeMay, who is a 70 overall right-wing sniper. I say it every week. These uh, bottom two lines are not going to be anything special. Non-desirable, for sure. Uh, we have Brown and Sanchez. Sanchez, Dirty Sanchez. On the third line, Bork, um, Keck, and Whitney. So uh, not even really going to talk about these guys. We're just going to skip to the NHL players for the uh, for the remainder of the video on the second line here. We have Hendricks, Malone, and Kelly. Uh, kind of disappointed with the second line. Generally, the second line is uh, it's pretty decent. This second line, though, this week is uh, is is pretty weak for sure. I mean, a 78 overall on there and a couple lower end uh, 80s. But it, nonetheless, still a pretty good team of the week once we get up to the uh, the first line and look at the defense. But Kelly, an 84 overall center grinder, uh, 84, 83, 82, 86, 89 are his stats. He stands six foot nothing, uh, 198, definitely on the smaller side there. Uh, Malone, uh, center, two way forward, 78 overall, 84 for the skating, 80 for the shot, 77 for the hands, 87 for the checking, and 83 for the defense. He's a little bit bigger at 6 1 2 10 but uh, still not the biggest guy in the whole wide world. And then over to the right side, we have another technical center, Grinder, who is an 82 overall, 84 for the skating, 83 for the shot, 79 for the hands, 90 for the checking, and 85 for the defense. He is 6 foot and uh, in 2 11. So there you go. There's your second line. Not a big fan of the second line, but the first line looks pretty spiffy. Minus Cole, but uh, we will talk about him for a quick second. He is an 87 overall right wing power forward, 87 for the skating, 88 for the shot, 86 for the hands, 87 for the check and an 85 for the defense. He is 6'2", 2, 2, 10, so a little bit bigger there. On to the left wing. Left wing sniper Daniel Sedin, a 91 overall, 89 for the skating, 91 for the shot, a very nice 94 for the hands, 88 for the checking, and a respectable 89 for for the defense. He is 6'1", 187, and a pretty good-looking card. As far as prices go, I have no clue what he's going to be going for. Quite frankly, I don't even know what the normal Daniel Sedin is going for, but I'd probably expect him right off the bat going for maybe... Don't quote me on it, but 70 to 100K, I don't know. Right off the bat, he could go for more, he could go for less. I'm really not well-versed in, uh, in Sedin cards. I, I don't really know the prices of them all that well. Sidney Crosby, which I'm kind of, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit mad that he's in this team of the week, but also a little bit happy in the, in the, in the same sense, and you'll see in a future Hockey Ultimate Team update, that's all I'm going to say. So Sidney Crosby, a 98 overall center playmaker, 93 for the skating, on paper, this card looks sick by the way, 93 for the skating, 95 for the shot, uh, 97 for the hands, 89 for the checking, and 95 for the defense. This card is going to be running you about... 1 mil to 1.3 mil on average is usually where his price fluctuates. Um, on to the defense. 
we've got some sick defense going on here. Uh, onto the third line, obviously, this is not too sick. We have, here goes the mouthful, Canz, oh Jesus, Canzanello, Canzanello, all right. So we have Canzanello and Brown, not very desirable. Up to the second line, DeHaan and Ben, again, kind of the same deal. A little bit better, but still not too desirable. Ben, an 82 overall lefty defensive defenseman. Uh, ben is 85, 80, 80, 87, 86 as his stats. He is 6 foot, 205. And DeHaan, an eight, what is he, an 84 overall lefty offensive defenseman. And uh, he is 87, 84, 85, 83, 85. He is 6'1", 187. So uh, a couple of uh, lower end defensemen there. I suppose if you did want to get a team of the week tandem that would be 99 chemistry uh, for a defensive defenseman and then having an offensive defenseman that's uh th 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 those might be your guys if you don't have a lot of coins and then on to the first line that ooh looks very beautiful we're going to start with Duncan Keith and 94 overall FD2 AD 91 for the skating 88 for the shot 93 for the hands 86 for the checking and a 92 for the defense now I have used quite a few or I shouldn't say quite a few I have used Duncan Keith uh, quite a few times I've used him for, shoot, maybe over 100 games for sure. So I've, I've used Duncan Keith quite a bit, his normal card, that is. And his normal card, let me just tell you, is not all that great. I mean, it, it's okay. It's a good card for like a 20K or even a 30K, maybe even a 40K player. Um, but for what he actually goes for, quite honestly, not worth it. Now, his team of the week could be wildly different and so much better but uh, honestly, I don't foresee myself picking up Duncan Keith anytime soon. Now, maybe once I get to a point with my team where it's super sick and crazy and I have tons of coins and I really have nowhere else to go, then maybe I'll pick up a def uh, defenseman like Duncan Keith just because he's a good-looking card. Um, but I really don't see myself going after him right now. Nonetheless, a really nice-looking card. And I did uh, fail to mention he's a 6 one 200. So there you go. There's Duncan Keith and a player I am excited about, a player I think I'm going to have to pick up at some point, and that is Victor Hedman, a 90 overall left D, 2 way D, 88 for the skating, 87 for the shot, 89 for the hands, 93 for the checking, which is gross, and a 90 for the defense. He is 6'6", 233, so big guy right there. And uh, like I said, I really want to try Victor Hedman out. Fun fact, I have I don't think I've ever used Victor Hedman actually this year. Last year, if you guys have uh, been around for quite some time I was a big fan of Victor Hedman every single version of his card he had back in NHL 14 but I have not used him in 15 and I think this is going to be the uh, the perfect card for me so I'm probably going to have to purchase purchase him at some point uh, goaltenders we have Ryan Miller as the starter he is 6'2 168 uh, generally I don't like to go after the uh, you know expensive or high-end goaltenders for example right now I'm rocking team of the week Frederick Anderson and the base card uh, Jonas Hiller and they are two of the best goaltenders I've ever used and and uh, I don't plan on changing them up at all. But maybe eventually I'll get a Ryan Miller if he is good. He does look like a sick looking card. 92 overall. Uh, his stats are 91, 93, 92, 92, and a 91. So nothing below a 90. Uh, nothing below a 91 actually. So really good looking card. I don't know if I'm going to pick him up. But at some point it's a possibility. The backup goaltender is going to be Blackwood. The Wood Black if you will. And he is a 70 overall goaltender. Reading 67, 68, 78, 69, and 70 as his stats. He is 6'4", 204, so a pretty tall guy. Maybe if you boost him, he could be something special. But on paper, not so much. There you go, guys. That is the Team of the Week review, overview, what you want to call it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It is our first uh, Team of the Week review since uh, December something, December like 15th or something like that. So it's been a while. So hopefully you, uh, you enjoy this series. And also feel free to check out the channel because boy, oh boy, have we posted quite a few videos this week. We've been posting, I think, at least three, if not four videos a day, which might even be considered a little excessive there. But uh, we're just cranking out the videos. I'm taking this year... Um, Pretty seriously, I want to I want to just try try this YouTube thing a, a little bit harder, a little bit uh, more consistent, and a little bit uh, a little bit more variety, if you will. So you're gonna see what that means in uh, in just a couple weeks. We're gonna be coming out with a, a few new series, a few new things I've never done with NHL 15 and YouTube. So it's gonna be really cool. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. If you do, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe for much much more, guys. As always, I'm Zab, and I'll see you next time. Pull my heart out of my chest Train my mind so I forget Sinking